All right. I'm Lindsay Smith with realagriculture.com. We're here at uh, Farm Tech 2017, joined today by Christian Hebert, a farmer from near Mooseman, but also founder of Workhorse, which we're going to get into in a little bit. Uh, it's a new app, a new interface that really is taking finding good farm labor, good employees, and turning it sort of on its head. But before we get to how this sort of solves a problem, let's talk about that problem. So. Sure. What do you? What have you identified, sort of, as one of the major holdbacks for finding good people for the farm? Well, I think just from talking to lots of farmers and different businesses I'm involved in, they they have a hard time sourcing people. But part of it is the education of where to source and how to source, and then also training, education. What is HR? What are performance reviews? Yes. So right from the base of the problem, and that as farmers move from farmers to farm managers to farm CEOs, you move from growing crops to managing people and relationships. Right. So we need to, you know, we've used technology in all other areas of agriculture to bring it forward. It's time we probably do it in HR. So for, do you think that one of the reasons that farmers often struggle to find good people is because they haven't first established the kind of worker they need? Or the, or the organization in place to support good staff? Yeah, I mean, I, I believe that one of the best parts of farm growth is that you can create positions that are 75% labeled, call it. Okay. Most of the world actually enjoys to know what they're gonna do most days. Right. And have a little bit of variety. Yeah. And a lot of farm job descriptions are just, do what I tell you to do when I tell you to do it, and hopefully for a lot of hours. Right. Okay, so tell me the background of Workhorse. So we, we were talking off camera sort yep. of about this idea of, you know, bringing an Uber type platform into different parts of agriculture and we're, yep. we're seeing it in other ways. Now, the, the sort of the inspiration for this actually came from a child's care sort of yep. background. So tell me about that. How yeah, that so there was, it's kind of a hybrid, right? I, would, I was doing one of my presentations and my partner Morgan uh, phoned me up after and we're discussing it and what we do different on our farm and in the HR side of it, and there's two things. One, we don't really advertise, we do it more through social media branding. Right, Most of our okay. applications are through that. Yeah. And the brand of our farm. And then on our personal side, my wife and I bring over au pairs to help with our help with childcare and, right. and light house duties and yard duties throughout the summer. And we the website that we use for doing this matches profiles and skills right. versus job boards and resumes. Right. And so you build a profile, you sell yourself, what's good about your family, what's good about what you're doing, right. the skill sets that you're looking for, and then the algorithms match down the 50,000 candidates to the 10 that you might actually like. Okay. Versus the old job board resume, throw 40 resumes in the garbage that you didn't like. Right, yeah. And look at the two you like. The, the tech is doing all that for you. Okay, and so the idea, so Workhorse is an app, is that correct? Yeah, and so it'll be an online platform. Yeah, a web yep. interface and an app. And so a farmer, let's say in Saskatchewan, needs to put together the profile of what they need. Exactly. And what makes their farm unique. different, unique. Okay, so they better establish that first, right? Yeah. And then this goes out to, then is this international? This international. Is that, that's the idea. Yeah. Global hub. So let's okay. get away from local papers. Yep. Nothing wrong with local papers, but let's For get a lot global. Of things. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But the big thing is, is as farmers, and ag businesses, both will be able to use the hub. We do, a, we do a pretty poor job of explaining all the real positive things about working on a farm, right? Right, yeah. And then taking another step right now, it's only gonna be for Canadian farms, eventually it'll be international, but we can also sell our country and advertise our country as a real positive experience. Right, right? yeah. So we want, the, we want the profiles to be pictures of the farm, pictures of meals in fields and kids riding in the combines on Saturdays, you know, and days at the lake on days off in July and all the exciting things yeah. and the uniqueness of working on a farm and the flexibility that we can offer that we never advertise, right? right? When you read a current farm description, right, farm job description right now, it's, it's farm looking for hired one, labor, class a, yeah. one, yeah, two yeah. years ag experience. Yeah. When for instance, I have a friend in the US that hires all military vets, because a lot of the US military retire between 35 and 40. Right, yeah, so very young. Think of the yeah. skill sets of that. Yeah. They believe in a greater good. Yeah. They take orders very well. Yes. They show yeah. up on time and they're disciplined. Yeah. I don't know if farmers like that, they could give it a whirl. They could give it a whirl. Yeah. So now, how how important, how key do you think it is for farmers to sort of sort out, you know, these job descriptions and who they need for growth? If if that's if they're growth minded, how important is this to have the right people? It's unbelievable. Yeah. So I mean, what's the one common denominator of everything we do in agriculture? People. Yeah. They work for us. They buy our products. Yeah. They eat our products. 
it, it, it's the whole business. Yeah. So at some point in time, we as farmers have to change our mindset from we grow crops to we manage relationships. Mm. Now, we still have to be really good at growing crops, yeah, but if we don't have any relationships, we're not yeah. gonna grow crops and we're not gonna sell the crops yeah. or livestock or whichever industry we're in. So it's critical to realize that people are the driving force of your business, not products. All right. All right, so now this will be uh, rolling out in March, yeah. I believe, as you said. Um, and for farmers who might be interested, where can they go for more information? And what should they have ready right. if they wanted to use the service? Yeah, so we've launched the Facebook site, Workhorse Hub. The website's workhorsehub.ca. Okay. Twitter handle's at Workhorse Hub. Yeah. Um, so this current, right now is the soft launch, just explaining what it is and getting everybody excited about it. So right now we got a 50% off for this week if you sign up. Yeah. It's gonna go live at the end of March and what I would prepare between now and March if you sign up is, is collect some fantastic pictures of your operation. That's what people wanna see now. Right, right? yeah. That's what millennials wanna see, yes, is absolutely. pictures and they yeah. wanna see the people and yeah. the story behind what you're doing, right? Yeah. So get, get some great pictures and get some write-ups about why your operation's unique and great. Mm -hmm. And all operations have that. Yes, absolutely. It's the cool thing about farm businesses, they are unique and great, right? Yeah. And then get some parameters around what, what's your first critical step in people. So what is that critical position in order to move you forward and grow? Mm -hmm. And then lastly, I would say is that if I'm using Workhorse, I'm buying an annual subscription and I always am gonna have two jobs posted, even if I'm not looking. Because I think we need to switch to the point that we're, you are always looking for good people. Right. As farmers, we can always find work, but usually we go find work and then we find people who happens to be the first person applied right. that's warm-blooded and wants to work, right? right? Yeah. Let's switch that and find good people and then find work. All right, okay, thanks so much, Christian. You bet, thanks.